Hi guys, Joel from Prepper in the Woods here. Now I did post a few pictures on Facebook of this pouch and this bag and I got a lot of interest on it and people were asking a lot of questions um, messaging me and on Facebook. So I just want to do a video to show you uh, a lot of the features of this. So to me, this is the best um, EEC bag I've carried in a while. Um, very well organized um, and it's non-tactical looking because uh, I just carry a Bergen around all the time and get grief because it's patterned and all the rest of it. But there's going to be a, one of my longer videos because there's so many features I want to get it all in one video and I want to show you how I set this up. Um, so what I'm going to do now is um, just a quick feature on the front pouch which a lot of people like and they're interested in buying. So I just want to show you the features of this before you buy it. Right, so the first feature I like about this is the clips. This bag has a lot of clips and um, I'm not clear on how some of them go to what places. There's so many of them. But I'm going to show you how I did it um, and a couple of little tweaks you can do to, to improve it. Now, say you're just going to the gym or just going down to the shop and you don't want to carry the pouch with you, right? So one thing I like about this is um, if I unclip the top bit, right? And then the compression side pouches there and there. Now, and there's just two there. So now I don't have to bring that with me. So I can just leave this at home if I wanted to. And then just have my, I believe, 34, 30, 35 liter bag with me. And then that's all I needed. So that's just it. So there's no really um, unclipping this and molly this and molly that. Um, just take that pouch off and go and then that's the front of it and that's the back of it but I'm going to give you more detail on that now I'm going to do that to go to the desktop now to show you all these features because I can't hold it and show you right so starting from the side here you have two compression straps right and then in this pocket here is where I stash my Tesco bag but there's a um, female clip there and it's kind of like a little pouch well, that's it and that one right but then on the other side here you have another pouch this one's, a, this one's much bigger um, and there's a small little pouch down there which is about the same size as this end piece I'll show you and this one has a, a female clip in it as well Right, then you have your small little pouch here. Now, on the front, um, I have put some rope there because I had this bag originally on here so I can get to it easy. I know the patterns don't match, but it's more about a um, first aid thing. So, you have your bits here so you can hang your hiking poles down here, run it up, cross webbing thingy here. But now, and you also have um, some webbing points down there but the thing I don't get and everything here is also on the other side right here you have two clips here and what it's supposed to be is say your bag is filled up you can have you can cross clip this to here and now that makes it into kind of like a stuff sack so you can really compact everything down now and that's how it would look from the top so you see so that's good for that now the lid part I'll unravel it a bit you have four female clips here one two three and then one hides over here four I'm not sure what these four are for if there's another pack, uh, pouch you can add on to here or what, but nothing connects from anywhere else. So I just connect um, these to here just to keep them out of the way when I'm not needing them. And that's how I do that. Now, as you can see here, you have a nice, good, very good sized pouch here, which I have like a hank of rope, a whistle, um, some plugs, a lighter, all that kind of stuff in that bit there, the mesh bit. And then you have, on the front bit here, you have a very small pocket 
for like sunglasses or something with a female clip here and another female clip here again lots of female clips and then you have so that's the sunglass one then you have a small one here and that one has my rain cover which covers the whole bag including the other pouch and then you have a really good sized pouch here which has my forks my medicine and a few other bits in there now going on to the back of it this grab handle um, the guy who mentioned it that it could hold a very high amount of weight to pull so definitely a person plus some I believe they said about towing cars with it that's, that's how strong this is um, and you also have one on the side so the pads itself here these shoulder pads are great they're very thick very comfortable um, adjustable top here you have the clips bit here if you wanted to cross shoulder uh, strap there another female one here a clip here if you want to put your keys on it or something so it's very thought out that's on both sides this padding here is ridiculous um, the bag itself is not the lightest bag but the way a guy explained it that is that when this bag is filled up and it's heavy you can carry a lot of weight on it and it, you won't feel it which is true because um that pouch weighs a little bit and i'll explain why in a minute but this here is very very comfortable waist belt's good um you got a pouch on this side and you have a pouch on that one so it's well thought out again you have right and left sides so I'm not picking on lefties or righties but very very nice um what else uh, the color green I like green so that's another option I have on the inside here I put a um, just a, a normal torch uh, so I can see in my bag it does have one zip in here but also has um, down here uh, like a little pouch bit which I just put paperwork normally in but um, again no rips in this this is held up uh, this was given to me from a mate uh, thanks Brad about two years ago um, and I never used it because the bag uh, to me is like really expensive and I didn't want to like kind of ruin it but because I'm going cycling through my bags now uh, I started wearing this and I forgot how comfortable this bag actually is it's really really good now I want to bring it over to the pouch because my setup was is I had this bag but then on the inside I had this insert here and I had this pouch on top, no, this on the bottom, and this on top, on this. And basically, if I had an emergency or wanted to get something out of my bag, I just pull the whole thing and the whole thing comes out. And I can go through that and go through that and then put it back in. So sometimes if I had to do that, it's a bit messy because it pulled out really easy. But when you put it back in, you have stuff in your bag, you have to take everything out of your bag and put this back in, which I found was a pain in the ass sometimes. Um, and like I said, that was on the front outside bit. So everything I had in these three pouches, I put into that other pouch there. So let me bring that little thing in out. Right, so. Let me just. Right. This pouch here. So everybody's interested in it. Let me back up a little bit. Okay. So this pouch, everybody's interested in it. Now, what you haven't noticed was there's no molly on the front of the other bag. So now you have the molly option of putting something on here. If you want to make it into a hiking bag or something, you want to put a knife on it or whatever, you at least now you have the option to it. Thickness-wise, um, I'll throw the measurements on the screen in a minute because this is not a small bag. I mean, this is like uh, two PLC pouches, maybe three, easy. So. You have two clips on top. You have the sides here, you have a compression strap. Again, so everything, you want to keep the whole bag tight and to you so that if you're on the move, nothing is shaking or moving about. You have some more clips here, another one there, another one there, which is the same on the other side. On the back, you have another four female clips. So this is the comment I made about having so many female clips on the pouches and on the bags. If it had a couple of more male ones, I, I wouldn't mind, honestly. Um, but let's get to the nitty gritty here. 
Oh, it also has a, a pull handle on top there, which is really, really sturdy. So, I'll unzip it. And it doesn't come down all the way. I would have been nice if it did. It comes down a little bit fraction short, just there. So when you open it up, look at that. So now I have an organized piece here. So bandages, uh, wipes, another bandage there, some cream, some um, tape, my gloves, um, some dehydration stuff. Then you have like your um, thermal blankets and slings and different kind of plasters, normal plasters. My tablets is over here. And then you have, I put um, some tape, um, a, mi a mirror, some pearl, and then I got a tourniquet, oh, not tourniquet, um, an Israeli bandage there, and some tissues there. So, oh yeah, and this side has a dust mask, just in case things get really bad. But, um, yeah, so now you have a well-organized bag, right? So, let me just show you another feature on this. Right. So say you're carrying this bag with you for first aid for yourself, um, maybe your kids or just general public, right? So if you go to use this bag and you take it off and you give yourself first aid or someone else, in public, what normally happens is, and um, you get a crowd of people, don't you? Because people want to come over, help out. They ask what's going on, can they help you? And all this other stuff. And then, you know, the police or paramedics show up or whatever. So it depends on, obviously it depends on how serious it is. But another point of view I had was if you take this bag and say, okay, yeah, I'll let me help you out or give some supplies to someone else who could help someone else, right? And you just go like this, all they're gonna see is first aid kit. Right? So you're like, oh my god, yeah, look, yes, first aid kit. That's great, right? You have all that. And they're not going to really question it because you just, it looks like a first aid bag and that's, that's what it is, right? So you're okay, right? But now, if you've seen, I had four pouches. Obviously, this is not four pouches worth of stuff. So what I thought about doing was, um, yes, this is a first aid bag. Everything in here is first aid. Let me just lower this bit a little bit. Right, so first aid bag. But watch this. Hey, now we got all the cool stuff. So it has both sides. And I'll show that on the table just now, but I just want to show that how that works. So that's right in there. And the thickness wise, you really, you really wouldn't have noticed that's even there. That looks like that's all there is, and that's fine. So let me just show you what's in the second pit. Right, so like I said, you're giving your, your first aid out, your bag's on the floor, you're doing your thing, you know, you're helping people, all the rest of it, that's fine. But if you need something outside of first aid, then there you go. So now you got Look at that. Look how organized that is. And you can see everything. You don't got to fuss with it. So here I have a extra large battery bank. I got a sewing kit in there. I do a lot of repairs at work. Duct tape. I got a Polymath products keychain and then a spare lighter. I got a marker. I got my cables for my phone and micro cables in there. Glue, um, burn, some tin foil. I got my Lansky. I got one of those universal keys for the city stuff in here. Um, I got a Leatherman, some Vaseline. I got some orange rope. I got another dust mask and I got some um, uh, dental floss. So that's just some extra bits that I do use during the week that um, I can free up my bag. So now I actually have my 35 liters back in my main compartment in my bag. Whereas before, with the other pouches I had, um, I lost out on that. And ended up maybe like 10 liters if I was lucky. So I really like this feature of it. And then obviously I didn't, I didn't notice that in the beginning and I bought it. I just saw these compartments and thought I like organizing stuff. And then another thing is that these pockets here really hold your stuff. Um, they're elastic and nothing comes flying out. I haven't had to move anything about. I mean, even these flat pieces of tape, they stayed in there. I mean, that, that's, that's pretty cool that, I like that. So 
let me just show you how I attach it to the bag because you have a lot of options and I want to show you the best one that I've done so far when I'm rocking this bag for the last two weeks. So I'm going to try to do this with the lack of room I have here, right? So the compression strap one here and then you have a compression strap there and then you have the main one that locks to that, right? So we'll keep that in mind. So what we're going to do is on here if you want to like unclip the top part and then um, not have the bag kind of fall forward what I would do is take the compression strap right clip it to this one and then tighten it up right tighten that right up and then put the slack somewhere inside don't worry about the slack right now and then do the same thing to this one right and then slack it in there right and then what you do is the compression strap here you take that one and you put it to the compression strap there I can't say it tonight and then you tighten it up so that one same thing from here to the bottom one right and then just tuck away the straps so you don't look messy and nothing's hanging about right you can stick it into that little pocket if you want to or whatnot and then just do the same thing to the other side. So I'll do that now. So I'll lift it and then I'll get the compression strap. Tuck that in there. Tighten that up. Same again on the other side. Tighten it up. And then the top compression there. Put it back. But I don't like having messy straps everywhere. Um, I see a lot of people in public do that, and I just want to run up to them and fix it. It's my uh, part of my OCD. These straps here, I just tighten up that way. That one, just stuff in the middle, and it won't come out. Right. So now your bag looks like this, right? Now you have two here. So the ones you use for the lid are now down about here somewhere. So I just cut the top ones to it. Because the other way of doing the lid is not using these, um, but using the straps that are under here, which eh, I'm not too, I'm not too, I'm not a fan on that. Or you can use the ones from here. If you clip these to here, then you're gonna have to pull the other ones out from down there to clip it to here, which could be a pain in the ass. I'd rather just have my lid clipped to these, and then everything is nice and neat. It's slaggy like this, only because I have a lot of stuff in there still. But once the bag's down, you don't have the problem. All right, so this is how the bag fits. Very close to you, nice and snug. Like I said, very nice straps. I don't use a chest strap, and I don't use the weight belt because I don't have that much weight in it to use it. But the bag itself, it just carries so, so nicely. So nice, right there above my butt. Thing. And you don't get, um, with the compression straps, you don't get a lot of shake and jiggle. So every, everything is secure on that. See? Nothing sliding around, there's nothing get tangled on. So, not much light in here either. Right. So the next question I'm going to get asked is, do they make side pouches? Yes, they do. Now. The thing is, is that these are for military issue, um, you know, contractors and that kind of stuff. So like proper field stuff, not like urban. So the pack would be considerably bigger. Um, if you put side pouches on it, it would be very blocky. Um, I'll put a link to the website. Um, and the customer service is really good as well. Um, back and forth emails with a guy named John. Um, and I've only seen one video of this so far on the net. Um, with information on it and that went through pretty uh, quickly 
and his pouches he showed he had male clips on the bottom of his pouch which is why I think I'm getting confused a little bit but now again this bag is a great carry um, it's if you buy it retail price it's gonna cost you over a hundred but you can pick them up for as little as 35 40 pounds if you you know look at the right places on Facebook and eBay and stuff like that um, I just bought another one for 35 pounds on um, second hand. I had some a couple of little rips in the padding, but 35 quid for this great bag. I don't mind that. But I so said, look at this. It's just just really happy with it. You know, it's nice. Lift it up. I'm not worried about the handle ripping off or whatever. I can just put it down and, you know, it was a good tough bag. But let me show you the side pouches now and then I'll leave you alone. But I don't want this video coming too long. All right, so as you can see, the front is the same. You have your two male clips on top compression straps on the sides that's all the same you know you have your clips on the it's all padded that's the compression straps right so this one differs from the inside is that when you open it look down here first and you have one big large pocket here and then you have a bunch of little pockets there so you got four small pockets one very large um, zip pouch there and then over here you have a nice size pouch with a compression strap here so you can put stuff in front of it if you wanted to or just keep everything nice and tidy on the top bit here you have one large pouch here I would say you put maybe a phone in that one or something three for pens and then another size one as that one there so two pouches on top three pens one large one with a compression strap the back doesn't come open on this one so that's what you get that one that's like a normal side one the other one's more of a medic one and that's the one I like the most but this one is like at least three rocket pouches um, in size wise you probably this is probably like a small day sack on its own that's how big this is um, price wise um, I believe they were 11 pounds for these as well for plus tax and um, shipping so I'll double check that one. I'll measure everything out for you guys. But I just want to show you there are side pouches that can go with that bag. Right, so that one's a little longer than my normal videos, but there's a lot of detail and a lot of questions I had about the bag, which I hope I answered it. Um, if you have any other questions about the bag, let me know in the comment section down below. Um, also, pop over to my Facebook group. Um, I put some more pictures on the bag on there. Um, yeah, and there's more questions answered on that as well. So let me know what you think in the comments section. Do you think this is a great EDC bag? I personally think it's a great EDC bag. It's very well made, very sturdy. Um, yeah, I just think it's a well made bag. I personally like it. It's probably the best EDC one I have. Um, that's not a Bergen. Um, but then a Bergen, you, you know, you do stand out, but then it doesn't matter where I live. Um, but yeah, please like and subscribe. Thanks guys for watching. Like I said, I hope I answered the questions. If not, let me know and I'll try to answer them for you. Um, thanks for watching guys. See you next video. Bye.